Wilson Ramos and the Nationals trying to bounce back from a 15-0 drubbing at the hands of the Reds on Friday night. Let's pick this one up in the sixth inning. It's 2-1 Washington. There's a man aboard for Ramos facing Mike Leak, and Ramos goes deep to center field. A two-run bomb for his first homer of the season, and Washington opens up a 4-1 lead. Seventh inning now, same score. Jason Wirth facing Sam LeCure, and Wirth goes deep to right center. That ball's out of here as well. It's 5-1 Nats, and check out the catch by the fan in the outfield, a baby in one arm and a souvenir in the other. Bottom nine now, it's 5-3 Nationals. Rafael Soriano looking for the save, but the leadoff man is Shinsu Chu, and Chu belts one to deep right. That's a solo home run, and the Reds are within a run. It's 5-4 Washington. Later in the frame, Joey Votto's on third after a triple, representing the tying run, and the next pitch out of Soriano's hand is a wild one. It gets by Wilson Ramos. Votto scores on the wild pitch, and the Reds tie the game at five. We are headed for extras. Top of the 11th now, still tied. Ian Desmond leading off the frame against J.J. Hoover, and Desmond, who had made two errors earlier in the game, atones in a big way, a deep drive to left. Another home run for the Nationals, Desmond's first of the year. It's 6-5 to five, Washington. Two batters later, Ramos gets a crack at Hoover. And Ramos puts a charge into one. See you later. Above the bullpen, the Nats lead 7-5. to Five, five tater day. And Wilson Ramos, multi-homer game. That, folks is not your typical eight-hole hitter. It's a 7-6 ball game, and since he has the potential tying run at second base, with Jay Bruce at the plate facing Craig Stammen. That is, it takes three hours and 30 minutes, and the Nats win it in 11. 7-6 Washington is your final. Stammen goes two innings to pick up his first win of the season. Bryce Harper belted his third home run in this game, and the Reds go four for 17 with men in scoring position in the loss.